Welcome back to the Sailor Tortilla channel, where I occasionally talk about the Sailor Moon show, but I always show you cool merchandise like my Sailor Neptune from E2046. Yes, E2046.com is an actual website and it is definitely trustworthy. Okay, so we're just gonna dive right into this. This is a garage kit, that means that it's gonna come in a million pieces. These come numbered, so they should be pretty straightforward. The only issue I had with this was that there's a lot of water pieces and they all kind of really look the same. I struggled uh, by the time I got to the second water piece, but that's okay. This figure is massive, impressive, and yes, they do quality control here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Three and four are also water. The thing is that this figure, oh once it's no. put together, is so impressive. It's insane. I am the lord of So while I get this open, let me talk to you about, ooh, <laughs> clear resin. Clear resin is just one of those things that often breaks. This figure actually had no breakage. None of the pieces were broken. Oh, wrong. I just do want to caution you that clear resin, for whatever reason, I find it's very fragile. I guess, I guess resin doesn't really have any flex to it like PVC does. You really do have to be careful shipping these and putting them together. Um, but yeah, very impressive. I love the color blue that they chose. It really feels and looks like the ocean. This is insane. But it's just wash, rinse, repeat. Another water piece and another water piece. Sailor Neptune's really easy to put together. You'll see once I get the figure out. It's just the water that takes a lot of time and patience. But I think it looks really awesome. I wasn't expecting her to be shiny for some reason. I have to look at my other Sailor Scouts, but I think they're shiny too. So here's the body sculpt. You'll notice that the paint on the skirt is shiny. They did do that with their Sailor Saturn, and I think that Sailor Pluto is probably gonna have the same type of finish, but it looks great. It has shading inside of the skirt. The body's really beautiful. It looks great. I love the pearl finish on the white part. It gives a good contrast to it. So putting her in here, maybe I should have done it before the water. I don't know. Uh, she's actually a little tilted too. She actually remains tilted to this day. But here's her bow. It's got a magnet. I love that these things come with magnets. You kind of just bloop, you pop it on, you don't think about it, and you keep moving. Uh oh, 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 I really appreciate that they just, you know, number it, put it together, there you go, here's the instructions. Oh, her mouth is a little funny. Um, her hair looks really cool, it's very tendril-like, it reminds me of Umi from Magic Knight Ray Earth. But I love the shape, it's got kind of like this cleave on it. You don't really look at this figure from the top though, but her mouth is kind of like a surprise Pikachu, I don't know how I feel about that. But again, putting this together is extraordinarily easily, but you'll, you'll see she's a little, she's a little tilted. I don't know if I need to go back in and maybe glue her feet to the bottom. We'll talk about it. So here's her arm. Oh, right. It is the super version because her super cap is right here. I don't know what I was talking about earlier in the video. I've had this figure for a couple months before actually posting this here, and I really, really love it. I did document the unboxing because I document all of the unboxings because you forget a lot of things when you have these guys sitting on your shelf. She is one of my favorites. I believe they might be re-releasing her. E2046 is really good about if you add stuff to your wish list, they do make an effort to bring popular items back. And I think she should be the most popular of all of them. And we're not even done here. She's got a globe of water that's gonna sit above her hands. So we're really still gonna build this water out. It's a lot, guys. She's really tall and I really love it. Wow. <laughs> It's a fucking water tornado. Sailor Uranus is very similar in that she has like a ball of... <laughs> it's, it's round. Spiky energy above her head. I didn't get her. I really regret it. So I hope they bring her back so I can put these two ladies together. One thing I really want to stress and reiterate from other videos about figures like these is that in general with Sailor Moon figures, I really want to see them doing attack poses. So you'll notice in my YouTube shorts that my Sailor Saturn is also in attack mode. That's also a figure from E2046. I know they're unlicensed and they're not official. Should I have come from the bottom? Oh no, that's where the hands are but the official stuff is kind of severely lacking. They actually announced a new Sailor Moon figure art zero where she's in her eternal form with a really beautiful crystal. Anyway, that was like six months ago and we haven't heard anything since. 
Because if I move her arms out of the way, I can come up from the bottom. They're also supposedly making a Sailor Cosmos one to go with her. I'm just really hoping that they announce them when the movie finally comes to the United States. Who knows? Oh my god. Thank you. You're done? Are you gonna put the arms? I'm doing this. <laughs> Whoa. Oh wait, she doesn't have arms. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Can you tell from my original reaction that I really, really like this figure? I get a lot of questions about her, a lot of comments on her. Okay, so the base is uncentered and I had to center the water where she is because she is not centered on the base. This original complaint of mine was actually resolved by slightly pushing her forward. I know that how that sounds, but if you push her a little forward and put her hands around the center of the little ball, um, yikes, that sounds really weird. So I think my favorite thing about this figure is how the light changes the color on the water when the light moves. I have a Sailor Mercury that has water effects, but they opted to go with clear. So I think it was intentional and really neat that they put like a green color to the water. Despite any issues installing that orb at the top, I think this is really solid. So my Sailor Neptune figure lives on my lesbian shelf, which also includes Sailor Pluto as a third wheel. I think she's a great centerpiece to the collection. My eyes automatically go to her when I walk into the room. I think it's just really cool. It's it's tall, you know, it's really commanding. And yes, we're gonna we're gonna try to help her over here. But um oh, hello. Anyway. I highly recommend this figure in particular. This is one of my favorites so far. Uh, the only thing is she does have kind of a weird mouth. Uh, I try to look at it, but not look at it because she looks like surprised Pikachu. Otherwise, really solid, really cool 10 out of 10. 